hello students in my previous video i've explained how to calculate mode of group data and today in this session i'm going to explain how to calculate median of group data in class 9 also we have done median but in class 9 it was ungrouped data but in class 10 you have to calculate median of grouped frequency distribution in exercise 14c first question is class intervals are 0 to 10 10 to 20, 20 to 30, it is up to 60 and corresponding frequencies are 3, 6, 8, 15, 10 and 8. And we are to find the median of this grouped frequency distribution. In this case, class intervals and corresponding frequencies are given. First of all, we have to calculate the cumulative frequency. Now, how to calculate this cumulative frequency? Here, first frequency is 3, so it will remain 3. Now, 3 plus 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, so you have to write 9 here. 9 plus 8, it will give 17. 17 plus 15, it will give 32. 32 plus 10, it will give 42. And 42 plus 8, it will give 50. So, by adding the previous frequencies, we are going to get cumulative frequency. Since we got class zero 50, that means here n which is sum of frequencies, summation fi, this is also equals to 50. So we got n, which is sum of all the frequencies is 50. Now if you divide n by 2, then it will be 50 by 2, so we got 25. Now if you see this cumulative frequencies, the value which is 25 or more than 25, here it is 32. And 32 corresponds to class interval 30 to 40. So 30 to 40 is the median class. So we have to write like this. The cumulative frequency just greater than 25 is 32. Which corresponds to class 30 to 40. Therefore median class is 30 to 40. Since 30 to 40 is the median class. So lower limit of this class interval is 30. So L is 30. Here frequency of the median class is 15. So F is 15. Here width of the class is 10 because 40 minus 30 is 10. Number of observations we got 50 which is N and cumulative frequency of the preceding class. This is the median class. So this will be the preceding class. Here cumulative frequency is 17. So C is 17. So we got lower limit of the median class L is 30. Frequency of the median class F is 15. Width of each class which is represented by the symbol H, it is 40 minus 30, 10. Number of observations, N is 50. And cumulative frequency of class preceding the median class, C, we got 17. We have to use these values in the median formula to calculate median. The median formula is L plus N by 2 minus C by F into H. In this case, L, which is the lower limit of the median class, it is 30 plus n by 2, n we got 50, so n by 2 is 25, minus c, cumulative frequency of the preceding class is 17, so c is 17, frequency of the class we got 15, so this will be 15 into height of the class, height or width of each class is 10, so it will be 10. Now we can cancel 15 and 10 by 5, 5, 3, ja, 5, 2, ja. So it will be 30 plus 25 minus 17 is 8. 8 into 2 divided by 3. So it will be 30 plus 8 to just 16 by 3. If you take LCM of 1 and 3, it will be 3. 3 divided by 1, 3. 3 into 30, it will be 90 plus 3 divided by 3, it will be 1. 1 into 16, 16. So we got 90 plus 16, which will give 106 by 3. And if we divide 106 by 3, it will give 35.33. Therefore, required median is 35.33, which is the required answer. In question number 2 of 14c, class intervals are 0 to 7, 7 to 14, in this way it is up to 49 and the corresponding frequencies are 3, 4, 7, 11, 0, 16 and 9. Here class intervals and these frequencies are given in the question. In the first step we have to calculate the cumulative frequency. 
Now you know in the first sum also I have shown how to calculate cumulative frequency. Here first frequency is 3, so it will remain 3. 3 plus 4, it will be 7. 7 plus 7, 14. Plus 11, 25. Plus 0, it will remain 25. 25 plus 16, it will be 41. And 41 plus 9, 50. So after raising all the frequencies, value is 50. So summation fi equals to 50. Since summation fi is 50, so we can write n equals to 50, where n is the number of observations. n by 2, it will be 50 by 2, and 50 by 2 is 25. Now, the cumulative frequency, which is just greater than or equal to 25, is 25, which corresponds to the class 21 to 28. So, this is the median class. So, median class is 21 to 28. Since 21 to 28 is the median class, therefore lower limit of the median class which is represented by the symbol L is 21. Width of each class, it will be 28 minus 21, that will be 7. Frequency of the median class, it will be 11. And cumulative frequency of the preceding class is 14, which is represented by the symbol C. So we can write lower limit of the median class L is 21. Width of each class h is 28 minus 21 is 7 frequency of the median class is 11 and cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class is 14 here i have written in short but in the exam you have to write in full now we know median formula is l plus n by 2 minus c by f into h here lower limit of the median class is 21 plus n we got 50 so 50 by 2 it will be 25 minus cumulative frequency of the preceding class we got 14 and frequency of the median class is 11 into h8 we got 7 so 21 plus 25 minus 14 it will be 11 so it will be 11 by 11 into 7 this 11 and 11 can be cancelled so we are left with 21 plus 7 1 just 7 and 21 plus 7 is 28 therefore required median is 28 I think question number 3 you can do it yourself. Let me show question number 4. Here class intervals are given 0 to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 300, 300 to 400 and 400 to 500 and these are the corresponding frequencies. In the first step we have to calculate cumulative frequency. Here first value will be 40, 40 plus 32 it will give 72, 72 plus 48 it will be 120. 120 plus 22 it will be 142 and 142 plus 8 is 150 so we got summation fi equals to 150 if you add these values here also it will be 150 only since n is 150 so n by 2 it will be 150 by 2 and 150 by 2 it will be 75 so here we got n by 2 is 75 the cumulative frequency which is just greater than 75 is 120 which corresponds to class 200 to 300. So 200 to 300 is the median class. Since this is the median class, L, which is the lower limit of the median class, it will be 200. Width of the class will be 100 because 300 minus 200 is 100. So H will be 100. Frequency of the median class is 48. So F is 48. And here, Cumulative frequency of the preceding class, here we got 72, so C is 72. So median equals to L plus N by 2 minus C by F into H. All of you know this formula. Here we got lower limit of the median class is 200 plus N by 2. N is 150, so 150 by 2 will be 75 minus C. Cumulative frequency of the preceding class, we got 72. Frequency of the median class is 48 into with with we got 100 so 200 plus 75 minus 72 it will be 3 by 48 into 100 now this 148 can be cancelled if i cancel 48 by 2 it will be 24 if i cancel 100 by 2 it will be 50 again if i cancel 50 by 2 it will be 25 24 if i cancel by 2 it will be 12 this 3 and 12 can be cancelled 3 4 the 12 so we got 200 plus 25 by 4. Now here it is 200 by 1. We can consider 200 by 1. So LCM of 1 and 4 is 4. 4 divided by 1, 4. 4 into 200, it will be 800. Plus 4 divided by 4, 1. 1 into 25, 25. 
If I add, I'm going to get 825 by 4. So 825 by 4, it will be 206.25. Therefore, required median is 206.25, which is the required answer. I think question number 5, you can do it yourself. And in case of question number 6, you can see the same question was there in 14B also. Here we have to calculate median and in 14B it was moved. Here it is given height in centimeter 160 to 162, 163 to 165, 166 to 168, 169 to 171 and 172 to 174. And corresponding frequencies are 15, 118, 142, 127 and 18. As you can see this table is not continuous because in the first class interval it is 160 to 162 but in the second one it is 163 to 165. Since it is not continuous we have to make it continuous by using the conversion factor. To calculate the conversion factor we have to subtract the upper limit of the first class interval from the lower limit of the second class interval that means 163 minus 162 and that one we have to divide by 2. So here conversion factor will be 163 minus 162 divided by 2. It will be 1 by 2 that means 0 0.5. To make this table continuous we are to subtract conversion factor from the each lower limit like 160, 163, 166 and we are to add conversion factor to the upper limits like 162, 165, 168 and so on. The first class interval was 160 to 162. Since we have to make it continuous, we are to subtract 0.5 from the lower limit and we are to add 0.5 to the upper limit. As a result, it will become 159.5 and this upper limit becomes 162.5. After applying conversion factor, we are going to get these class intervals. Now you can see this is continuous. The corresponding frequencies will remain as it is. Now you have to find the cumulative frequency. 15, 15 plus 108 is 133. 133 plus 142 is 275. 275 plus 127 402. 402 plus 18 is 420. So we got summation Fi is 420. Since n is 420, so n by 2, it will be 420 by 2, which will give 210. Now, the cumulative frequency, which is just greater than 210, is 275, which corresponds to the class 165.5 to 168.5. So, this is the median class. And since this is the median class, 165.5 is L, 168.5 minus 165.5 it will give 3 so width of the class is 3 this is the frequency of the median class which is f and 133 is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class since this is the median class so 133 is c here n is 420 so n by 2 is 420 divided by 2 which is 210 the cumulative frequency just greater than 210 is 275 which corresponds to the class 165.5 to 168.5 therefore median class is 165.5 to 168.5 here lower limit of the median class is 165.5 width of the class is this value minus this which will give 3 frequency of the class already i told you it is 142 and cumulative frequency of the preceding class is 133. Now if you apply in the median formula, we know median formula is L plus N by 2 minus C by F into H. L we know 165.5 plus N by 2. N we got 420. So N by 2 will be 210 minus C is 133 by 142 into 3. 165.5 plus 210 minus 133 this will give 77 by 142 into 3 so 165.5 plus 77 into 3 it will give 231 by 142 if you divide 231 by 142 it will be 1.626 and on adding these two 
we are going to get 167.126 if you round off it will be 167.13 cm therefore median height is 167.13 cm I think number 7 and 8 you can do it yourself here also you have to make it continuous and then you have to calculate median in question number 9 we are to find the missing frequency and median of the given distribution is 24 so median is given here and we have to find this unknown frequency in question number 9 these are the class intervals and these are the frequency here median is 24 and we have to find this unknown frequency in the first step we have to calculate the cumulative frequency so it will remain 5 5 plus 25 it will be 30 30 plus x it will be 30 plus x 30 plus x plus 18 it is 48 plus x and 48 plus x plus 7 it is 55 plus x so summation fi is 55 plus x from this value 55 plus x it is not possible to calculate the median class but in this sum it is given median is 24 and since 24 lies between 20 and 30 so median class is 20 to 30 so lower limit of the median class a will be 20 width of the class will be 10 as 30 minus 20 is 10 frequency of the median class is x and the cumulative frequency of the preceding class is 30 so in this sum l is 20 h is 10 f is x c is 30 and n is 55 plus x we know the median formula is median equals to l plus n by 2 minus c by f into h here median is given in the question 24 l is 20 plus n by 2 n is 55 plus x so it will be 55 plus x divided by 2 minus c c is 30 divided by f and here missing frequency is x into 10 so 24 this 20 if i transfer in the other side it will be minus 20 so 24 minus 20 equals to here it is 55 plus x by 2 minus 30 by 1 since it is 30 by 1 if we take the LCM of 2 and 1 it will be 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 into 55 plus x it will be 55 plus x minus now 2 into 30 it will be 60 divided by x into 10 24 minus 20 is 4 equals from here it will be x minus 5 x 55 minus 60 is minus 5 this 2 and x will be multiplied it will be twice x into 10 this 2 and 10 can be cancelled so it will be 5 so 4 equals to 5x minus 5 5 to 25 divided by x so 4 into x 4x equals to 5x minus 25 4x minus 5x equal to minus 25 so minus x is minus 25 if I multiply both sides by minus 1, it will become x equal to 25. Therefore, missing frequency is 25. We can write therefore missing frequency is 25, which is the required answer. I hope question number 9 is clear. In the remaining sums, you can try it yourself. Thank you for watching. Take care.